I am in the process of making a professional blog. Now, YouTube's a lot of fun, and it's like an amateur thing to do. The downside of that for everybody is that you don't know when you're going to get videos, and when you get them, they're not very high quality as far as appearance and so forth. Of course, people watch these videos for the content, but, you know, um, it's not like, quote, high quality, and you don't, you don't know when you're going to get stuff. Whereas if I had a professional blog, then I would regularly be updating it. It'd be more professional and I would have more equipment to make my videos look sharper. And of course, it's not all about the sharp video, but it, it does help. One other thing is um, someone was asking me about when people bought silver. There's a lot of pundits on YouTube and the internet who claim they bought silver at a certain date. And my response is, Unless you were following them at that date and they're writing articles about these precious metals, you simply don't know. Like, for example, if someone in 2011 comes on the scene and they say they bought silver in 2002, you have no way of knowing. So I guess it's like, it's like a faith thing for a, lot, for, a lot of, for a lot of these pundits. People put faith in them because you have no way of verifying anything they say. However, if there is a track record, you don't have to have faith. If, you, if someone says, for example, in 2002, in a blog post, I'm buying silver, and it's 2011, and you said, when that person buys silver, you say, aha, 2002, there's, there's an entry there, and we can see they really did do this, or they claim they did that, which I think is as close as you're going to get, because no one's going to actually show you their all their personal financial um, statements, but if, if someone's posting at a certain date, hey, I'm going to do this, then... You know, and then they claim they did that. Well, you can see they have some record of, of what they did. So I'm kind of brainstorming about what I want to do for this blog. And that goes to a final thing about like, um, like a, a, a lot of like quote advice. People, people kind of want to, um, they want some guidance and advice when it comes to precious metals and investing and so forth. And it's, it's so hard to get those things. Well, if I create like a professional blog, I might be able to do that. One thing that I would do is I would try and give an estimated percent of success. For example, I'm talking about this gold to silver ratio trade. If I put that in my blog, I would say I estimate I estimate this has an 80% chance of success, which means that 20% chance of the time it won't work. And that way, someone who's following it, if it doesn't work, they won't feel deceived. And that's one thing is I want to do something without deceit. So I'm still brainstorming, so thanks for watching.